Welcome back. Do you want to live next to the brand new Olympus Sport Complex in Claremont? Or do you want to have a flex space where it could be either a vacation home, permanent residence, or whatever you want? Well, stay tuned. I got an interesting one for you today. Give me that in. Hidden Forest. It is close to where the new Olympus Sport Complex is going to be, not too far off the 27. It is a beautiful flex type of investment where you can be your permanent residence or it can be an Airbnb or actually be a rental day by day if you want. It's awesome. I'm going to show you two models. Out of the two models, you're going to have a four bedroom model and then you're going to have a three bedroom with the loft. So as you know, this is a beautiful investment or permanent home, and there is no rules attached to this investment property. You can either live in it, rent it out, Airbnb it. Now, two models that I'm gonna show you briefly, and today, the first one is gonna be the Oro. The Oro is 2,256 square feet, four bedroom, three bathroom, has a private pool, lanai, open living area, and all the upgrades are included. It is a great investment.
the apparent differences from the RO from the Asher, which I'm going to show you just parts that are different from each model, is obviously square footage. The RO is larger. Um, it also has an extra bedroom, the RO. And it, but the difference with the Asher is that it has a loft. And why that happens is because of the orientation of how each unit lays, where the Asher lays into an interior wall, uh, the Oro lays to an outer wall. So that middle bedroom that the Oro has, has windows, where the Asher has a loft instead. And those are the main differences between the two units. Other than that, they're both beautiful units and all the upgrades and fixtures are of high quality. So let me show you some of those differences. guys well looking at why you should buy in Orlando or why you should buy a vacation home or investment in Orlando look at the facts 131 million visitors came to Florida in 2019 which is a 6.7 increase from last year Orlando ranks among the largest tourism markets in the world and finally consumer spending on tourism increased to 24.8 billion in 2019 so everyone wants to either live invest or have a vacation home near the mouse so let's talk about walt disney world's visitor estimates for 2019 magic kingdom came in at a whopping 20.96 million animal kingdom came in at 13.88 million hollywood studios came in at 11.48 million epcot came in at 12.4 million blizzard beach and typhoon lagoon came in at 4.23 million this is just estimates on the type of traffic that comes through the area just for the mouse alone. And Orlando's tourism continues to increase, even from the stats that we are seeing from 2019 and 2020. Let's talk about alternative transportation. The Brightline expansion is the four billion Brightline project that will connect Orlando and Miami by 2022, with a Tampa connection to Orlando to follow. Along with the planned stop at MCO, Orlando's International Airport, it would also transport guests to a stop in Disney Springs by 2023. That is amazing. And speaking of MCO, Orlando's International Airport, in 2019, Orlando International Airport experienced a 6.1 increase over the previous year with more than 50.9 million passengers. And airport expansion is on the way to accommodate increased traffic that opened up in 2021. MCO is the busiest airport in Florida and the 10th busiest airport in America. Let's talk about other amenities in the Orlando area, such as the Orange County Convention Center. The second largest convention center in North America with over 7 million square footage and 2 million square footage of exhibition space. The OCCC averages over 200 events each year, from theme park exhibitors to Megacon. It attracts over 1.5 million attendees to the region each year and provides approximately $3 billion in economic impact to Central Florida annually. And remember, when it comes to amenities in the Orlando area and Central Florida region, there is so much more than Mickey Mouse. 
and one of the biggest amenities in the area, aside from Disney, is Universal Orlando. Universal Studios has added up to 10.7 million visitors this year, and that's up 5%. Islands of Adventure had 9.7 million visitors, up 2.5%. Volcano Bay, which is one of the newer attractions in the area, had 1.7 million visitors, which is up 15%. And a fourth park is in the planning stage with over 530 acres set aside on Universal Boulevard for development. Look for the land to open up before 2025. Another amenity that competes for visitors' attention in the Orlando area is SeaWorld and Legoland. SeaWorld Orlando welcomed nearly 4.6 million visitors last year, up 16% from 2017. Mako, the fastest, tallest, and longest roller coaster in Orlando, is located in SeaWorld. Aquatica Orlando, SeaWorld's water park, welcomed 1.5 million visitors, up 8% from 2017. And let's not forget Legoland, which opened a new Lego movie land in March of 2019. If sports is what piques your interest, Orlando has sporting events all around the city and has made improvements as well. Orlando City has a new $155 million soccer stadium. Orlando Magic plays a minimum of 44 games a year at the Amway Center. And Camping World Stadium is home to the nation's largest bowl games every year. If hitting the golf greens is where your heart is really at, then Orlando has plenty of golf courses to satisfy your needs. The Orlando area has over 150 golf courses as well as numerous golf academies. Notable golfing pros have designed local courses such as Arnold Palmer and Greg Norman. Disney operates four award-winning courses, a perfect complement to your Orlando vacation. Disney's Palm Golf Course, managed by Arnold Palmer Golf Management, is a challenging 18-hole championship course and was given four stars by Golf Digest. If tennis is your thing, then there are over 140 tennis courts in the Orlando area including many areas open to the public. The USTA National Campus is at Lake Nona and invites tennis fans of all skill levels and ages to watch, learn, and play at one of the world's largest and innovative tennis facilities. And when we talk about sports around the Orlando area, everybody is buzzing about the Olympus Complex in Claremont. Expected to create 5,000 jobs and generate $1.4 billion in local economic impact over the next 10 years. The five-phase project is expected to get underway this year and be finished by 2025. Olympus is a sprawling 243-acre complex that would include a multi-sport competition, training venues for collegiate, professional, and elite athletes featuring sports celebrities, legendary coaches, and global sports brands and properties. And after you are done building an appetite at the parks, you need to go and check out Flamingo's Crossing. Disney's newest development, Flamingo Crossing Town Center, will feature over 50 shopping and dining options. Here's a list right here of some of the announced vendors that are coming to this awesome town center. If you're a foodie or just want a good place to eat after the parks, well, Orlando has it all for you when it comes to dining and restaurants. Recently named number six best foodie city in the nation with over 5,000 restaurants in Orlando alone. We have restaurants Lumo on Park and Lumo from best chefs in the South winners, Brandon Moglemery, as well as James Beard Award nominees, James and Julie Petrakis Restaurants, The Ravenous Pig, and Disney Springs, The Polite Pig. Over 90 full service restaurants in Disney World alone, including two restaurants on the top 100 list 
for a night out. The Bow House and Raglan Road, both located in Disney Springs. With all the amenities in this area, including retail and shopping and culture and arts, it is a great idea to start a business in this area. Orlando is a brilliant investment. Orlando median sales prices have gone up 15%. The median sales price increased to 275,000 from November of 2019 versus November of 2020. At the time of filming, there will be available units only in these two buildings here and future development here in Hidden Lakes and here in Sunrise Point. So this is the resort map and what build out would look like and what's coming soon. A little bit more information about Hidden Forest is you have 145 acres of nature and conservation and it's going to be six eco-friendly communities by the time it's all done. It's going to be secluded and tranquil and minutes away from all the amenities in that area. The amenities for the resort are going to be solar power clubhouse, resort like swimming pool, fitness center, playground area, game room, and two tennis courts. So here's a map showing you what's in the local area, how far the amenities are from Hidden Forest, and exactly a good representation of how far and how centralized this location is. This picture right here shows that once Sunrise Point is built, uh, which is directly in front of Hidden Forest, there will be a throughway to get to the Future Dream entrance, which will put you directly on the 27, which will get you to the local amenities that much more faster. So in this project, uh, as you can see, there are some perks, right? You have the affordable properties at low operating costs. What does that mean? Well, you have no builder fee, no CDD, uh, Every upgrade comes standard like quartz countertops, porcelain floors. You have lower HOA costs that includes your water and sewer bill. And you can choose your own property management strategy, which is fantastic. There are a lot of restrictions with other investment, vacation, resort type uh, situations. And as I said before, you can actually make this your permanent residence if you so wish to do so. So uh, that's great. So. That's some of the uh, perks with building in this development. So just to recap what you get as a homeowner in this association, uh, remember the association takes care of community and maintenance so you can relax and included for $300 per month are the listed services such as water and sewer, landscaping and maintenance of common areas, exterior painting every five to seven years, exterior pressure washing of buildings and sidewalks, re-roof uh, at the life of the roof, uh, private road maintenance, maintenance of retention ponds, solar powered uh, street light maintenance, uh, termite bond, exterior pest control, trash valet service on trash days, common area general liability, property manager, booster and lift pump maintenance, and the clubhouse. So these are things that help the curving of the overhead on these types of properties. Obviously, um, with the market being so hot um, and this being such a great investment, you can see that more than 65% of this community is sold out. Uh, actually, probably more at this time of video. And uh, there are some sites still available, but it is a time of the essence thing with these type of investments and resort properties um, and especially the with all the perks you get with this one i don't expect it staying around too long all right guys so if you love this type of investment or permanent residence for yourself give me a call 407-790-0929 as always this is anthony tejada your local orlando real estate agent and i'll see you guys on the next one give me that outro